Well, hey guys, this is a little bit of a weird one, but I'm just going to temporarily keep this video up uh, until someone answers this question. And the first one that answers it, I'm going to reward you with a free lifetime subscription to Schrodinger's Box Quantum Mechanics because that's where I need your help at. So what's happening real briefly is I am in the midst of a series that I am filming for variable valve timing diagnosis and understanding. We actually have a, a car behind me here that has a definite confirmed variable valve timing issue based on the data that we've learned how to analyze. And one of the things that I just accidentally noticed was uh, I was looking at the duty cycle control for the solenoid. The thing is, is that the pulse width modulation for this solenoid, there is a PID showing the duty cycle but no matter what I command the cam degree, uh, the angle of the camshaft to be at, whether it's five degrees, whether it's 25 degrees, that pulse width modulation is still exactly the same, at least as far as the duty cycle, but also as far as the frequency. So in other words, the duty cycle is always like right around 45% no matter where I command the camshaft at, but also the frequency doesn't change. I just figured it would be a frequency change at the same duty cycle, but that is not what happens. Here, let me show you real quick. And what I'm hoping for is an explanation of what I am overlooking because the cam position does change when I increase or decrease the, um, the solenoid activity, but I don't understand how that can possibly be happening when the solenoid, uh, it, by a scope, measured not from the scan tool, but by a scope, shows that the duty cycle and the frequency are identical. Here, let me show you real quick and it'll make sense. All right, Ford Triton engine, we're going right here on bank one to this variable valve timing solenoid. I'm gonna back probe this solenoid. Okay, we're gonna go to the active tests and get uh, bi-directional control. Um, I will also uh, go ahead and show you. We'll just do for bank one here. Uh, we'll bring up the duty cycle and the actual, um, let's, where's my desired at? Um, oh, it should be on there by default actually. Okay, we're going to increase, let's increase like uh, 5% or so. You see we activate our solenoid. You can see the frequency and duty cycle and over on the scan tool, we can see our actual advance. Now, here's my problem is I'm gonna go ahead and increase it. Let's go to 20 degrees. You'll see that we are actually increasing the cam actual advance accordingly. You see, we, we have an issue here, obviously, but that's not my, my point. My point is that the frequency and duty cycle is still exactly the same. And I can't explain why that is happening. What I've tried doing to verify there's really no change is I've got the downward slope set here on the six millisecond tick right there. Um, so that would mean the front would change uh, or we would see, you know, if there was an average pulse width modulation change, for example, we would see this front line move positions. Right now it's at what, 4.4, whatever. Um, but the point is that line doesn't change. Let's increase more. We're increasing our cam position, but we don't change anything on that square wave. Let me go ahead and decrease it. Let's go down to like 15 or so. Same exact waveform. How is the change happening? How is that solenoid changing the oil flow? And my, my duty cycle keeps hovering um, jumping between like 38 and 45 percent, something like that. But there's no change here. I was expecting at least, I thought it was going to be a duty cycle change. Otherwise, why show the duty cycle? Um, it's not a duty cycle change. It's not a frequency change. But that solenoid is moving to allow a change in oil flow because I'm seeing my actual advance change. Uh, I, I do not know what I am missing on this, but I'm hoping one of you guys can answer what is going on here. All right, first guy to answer it, free lifetime subscription to Schrodinger's Box Quantum Mechanics. Good luck.